In this video, I'll show you how to convert verbal statements into algebraic equations. This is part one. Let's start with question one. In question one, they ask, if twice a certain number is increased by nine, the result is equal to two less than triple the number. Find the number. Now, when it comes to answering these types of questions, it always helps to reread the question. And on your second read, you want to highlight the important parts. So let's start. If twice a certain number, so we don't know what the certain number is, it's an unknown, so let's call this certain number x. Now if twice a certain number, so the word twice suggests that we will be multiplying this number by 2, is increased by 9. So 2x plus 9. Increase suggests adding 9. The result is equal, and they tell us that this is equal to 2 less than triple the number. Now if twice the number is 2x, triple the number will be 3x. So this is equal to 3x 2 less, minus 2. And that's it. Now we have to find the number. To solve for this, we have to collect like terms. We'll take the numbered terms and the letter terms to their own unique side. So I'll take this over and I end up with 2x minus 3x is equal to negative 2. That stays the way it is. I'm going to bring this positive 9 over. That makes it negative 9. On the left side, we're left with negative x. And on the right side, minus 2 minus 9 is minus 11. You'll notice a negative on the left side and a negative on the right side. That will cancel out. And you're left with x is equal to 11. So what satisfies this situation is an unknown of 11. Let's move on to question 2. In question two, it gets a little more difficult. After a certain number diminished by eight, so let's highlight it as we go, so there's a certain number and it diminished by eight, and this certain number, we'll define it as x as we did before, that's our unknown, diminished by eight. That means that this number is being subtracted by eight. The amount remaining is multiplied by eight. So this number, diminished by 8, and then the result is multiplied by 8. So this is multiplied by 8, and the way we represent that is we say x is equal to 8 times this. Let's continue. The result, which means that this is equal to the same as if the number were diminished by 6 and the amount remaining multiplied by 6. So what we have is the following equation. 8 times x minus 8 is equal to 6 times x minus 6. We have to solve for x, and the first thing that we will do is distribute this 8 and this 6, and that gives us 8x minus 64 is equal to 6x minus 36. We solve for x by taking all the like terms to one side, Take that to that side and take that to the other. 8x minus 6x is equal to negative 36 plus 64. And since I'm running out of room, I'll complete my answer right here. 8x minus 6x is 2x. And minus 36 plus 64 is 38, positive 38. And therefore, x is equal to 19. In our last question, which is the hardest one, in a group of 102 employees, there are three times as many employees on the day shift as on the night shift, and two more on the swing shift than on the night shift. How many are on each shift? To answer this question, we know that there are 102 employees in total, and there are three shifts, a night shift, a day shift, and a shift known as a swing shift. And we are told that there are three times as many employees on the day shift as on the night shift. So for the day shift, there exist three times as many employees, which we'll represent as X, during the day. So we can replace this part with 3X. In addition, we are told that two more on the swing shift than on the night shift. So there are more on the swing shift, two more, than there is during the night. 
So we'll call this swing. And that is equal to 2 more than at night. We'll replace this part with 2 plus x. And the night will simply be replaced with x. So this should be the amount of night shift employees. Now we have to collect like terms. We have 1x plus 3x plus another 1x. And that gives us 5x plus 2. I just collected like terms. Bringing this 2 over makes it 100 on the left side, 5x on the right side. Dividing both sides by 5 gives us 20 is equal to x. So to conclude, there are 20 employees on the night shift, 22 in the swing shift, putting the 20 here gives us 22 in the swing shift, and 3 times 20 is 60 in the day shift. And there you have it. Three examples on how to convert verbal statements into algebraic equations. Make sure to watch part two where we tackle a different type of example related to this.